Hi, I'm Adam. I'm with Symmetry Trailers and uh, our website is simtrailers.com. Um, we build custom off-road overland trailers and uh, gear hauling trailers. Uh, we've got uh, two of our trailers here at the Moore Expo this weekend. One that uh, is going to a customer and then we've got another one here that's for sale. And this one we call it Swamp Thing just based on the color. Um, it's our biggest model that we sell, the Rover. And uh, yeah, we'll check it out. Okay, so on our Rover design, you can kind of see we've got two different uh, levels here with the body. We've got 24 inches down below for gear storage, and typically we have our propane tanks, our water storage, um, our fridge slides come out of those. Um, we've got the tailgate on the back and then two side open doors, along with the fenders, the fender steps to be able to stand up on and get to your tent and your gear up on top. And then on the enclosed cab up on top, we've got another 18 inches of storage up here for lighter items, things like your camp chairs, your sleeping bags, pillows, blankets, things like that. And then we also have the battery up front. Um, we have the electrical package here, fold down doors on each side that turn into tabletops. Um, then we've got the, where we organize the electrical here, either a four or six switch panel here, the inverter, the battery charger, we can add solar. We put lights on the inside, top and bottom. We can put frame lights on it. Around the front, um, you can see our propane tank there. We can put uh, divider panels in between to keep your gear from sliding front to back. A lot of options on the front tongue. Um, on our other trailer, we've got the tongue box with the fridge slide out coming out there. On this one, we put the spare tire here. We also have the leveling jack sockets that we can put on the front of the body to where they store while you're traveling down the road and they don't rattle. We have a lock and roll hitch up front. We also put the receiver on the front of the trailer. And that way, while you're at your campsite and you drop your trailer and then you go explore, you can pull that receiver out of there and put it in the back of your pickup and take it with you. And then that way you have more security, your trailer won't take off. A little bit of the same on this side. You can see where the, the battery sits up in there. Lots of storage up top, lots of storage up front. We've got a propane tank inside this one. Um, underneath we've got 3,500 pound timber and suspension. And this does have 12 inch electric brakes on it with 31, 15 inch tires. On this one, we put the leveling jack sockets on the back corner here, again, for storage while you're traveling down the road. And then on this one, we put the OVS Mamba 310 up on top, the aluminum hard shell with the uh, extra storage up on top. Fit very well with this build, so um, we put that on there as an option. Back here, you can see the fridge slide. We've got the tough stuff straight slide out fridge slide along with more storage options on either side there our new layout on the LED lights on the back here you can kind of see with the strip lights we've changed that up this year um, to make it more sleek add more light to it more visibility when you're coming up from behind the trailer thanks for watching guys and uh, if you want any more information about our trailers simtrailers.com symtrailers.com and then we're also on Instagram sim.trailers and then on Facebook symmetry trailers